رمضان كريم 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 شهر عظيم 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 قم للعبادة تلقى السعادة قم للعبادة تلقى السعادة تلقى السعادة تلقى النعيم رمضان زمان البركات رمضان زمان الحسنات رمضان زمان البركات رمضان زمان الحسنات رمضان مجال الصلوات طوبى للنفس بتقواها رمضان كريم 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 شهر عظيم 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 رمضان كريم 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 شهر عظيم 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 قم للعبادة تلقى السعادة قم للعبادة تلقى السعادة تلقى السعادة تلقى النعيم رمضان صيام ودعاء رمضان أمان وصفاء رمضان صيام ودعاء رمضان أمان وصفاء رمضان سلوك وعطاء أهلا بقدومك يا شهر عظيم 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 قم للعبادة تلقى السعادة قم للعبادة تلقى السعادة تلقى السعادة تلقى النعيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مرحبا مرحبا نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد We begin in the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we send peace and blessings upon Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم جزاك الله to all of you for joining and we glad you joined us again for the final part of this series on the Sahabi the fourth best Sahabi Hazrat Ali radiyallahu ta'ala an. This is the fourth week of the month of Ramadan. In the first week, we had discussed the life of Hazrat Abu Bakr radiyallahu an. In the second week, we talked about Hazrat Umar radiyallahu an. In the third week, which was last week, we, talk about, we talked about Hazrat Uthman radiyallahu an. And this week, we are talking about Hazrat Ali radiyallahu ta'ala an. Who knows anyone that's called Ali? Maybe it's your family member. Maybe it's a relative. Maybe it's a friend that's called Ali. Well, today we're going to be talking about the Sahabi, Hazrat Ali radiallahu an, who was the cousin of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So in today's short session, we will first talk about Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu, his family, and how he accepted Islam when he was only 10 years old, or about 12 years old. And then in the second session, we'll talk about Abu Talib and who Abu Talib was the evil plan of the Quraysh. And we'll also talk about returning back the trust of the people that were given to the Prophet ﷺ to look after them. In the third session, we'll talk about the marriage of Hazrat Ali radiallahu an, the battle of Khaybar, and also a story of his of justice and how fair he was. And in the end, we'll have a short Kahoot session, inshallah. For that final short Kahoot session, we'll go on the website, Kahoot.it, which you're familiar with, will enter the game pin, which we'll give to you, inshallah, and then we can start playing. There's only about seven questions, so it'll be really easy, inshallah. Um, but before we begin, like usual, um, we'll want to start 
our program today by reciting part of the Holy Quran. By reciting the Holy Quran, our gathering will be blessed with the words of Allah Ta'ala. For this, we'll welcome one of our dear students, um, Muhammad Zain, that will read part of the Quran for us, inshallah. Zain, if you're ready. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدوا ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله فيغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا وفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين صدق الله العظيم MashaAllah, such a confident and powerful recitation. May Allah Ta'ala give Zain a bright future, inshallah. May Allah Ta'ala give him the best in this world and the hereafter. He is in his class, so may Allah Ta'ala make him a great hafiz of the Quran. And may Allah Ta'ala make him the coolness of the eyes of his parents, mashallah. We all had to get a pack of tissues after that to wipe our eyes. Now moving on. So we will first talk about the life of Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu before Islam and who he was and who his parents were. So Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala an, he was actually called Ali bin Abi Talib bin Abdul Muttalib. So Ali radiallahu ta'ala an, his father was called Abu Talib and his grandfather was called Abdul Muttalib. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his father was Abdullah and his grandfather was also Abdul Muttalib. So the grandfather was the same. But the father obviously was different. As Ali radiallahu ta'ala and his father was Abu Talib. And who was Abu Talib? He was the brother of Abdullah. So the father of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam And the father of Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu. They were both brothers. The father of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was called Abdullah. And the father of Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu was called Abu Talib. And they were both brothers. And how many years after did the, did, was Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu born after the year of the elephants which happened? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was born that very year. But Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu, he was born 30 years after that. So 30 years after the year of the elephants, Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu was born. So the question is, how many years younger was he than the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam? If the Prophet ﷺ was born in the year of the elephants and Hazrat Ali was born 30 years after that, how many years younger was Hazrat Ali? He was 30 years younger than the Prophet ﷺ, 30 years. They were both cousins. Now the family of Hazrat Ali, who we said his father was called Abu Talib, who was the brother of Abdullah, and both were the children of Abdul Muttalib. 
So his father, the father of Ali radiallahu anhu was called Abu Talib. And his story will come a bit shortly in the second session, inshallah. His mother was called Fatima. And he was from Banu Hashim, just like the Prophet wasallam also was from Banu Hashim, the family of Hashim. And he was the first cousin of the Prophet wasallam. Did you know, and this is just an interesting fact, his mother had actually named him Asad. That Hazrat Ali was actually called Asad at the start because do you know his mother Fatima? Her father was actually called Asad as well. Fatima bint Asad. So she named her son Asad as well, just as her father was called Asad. But then um, Abu Talib named him Ali radiallahu ta'ala. He had three brothers and he had two sisters. And one of the brothers of Hazrat Ali radiallahu which we know very well, he was called Hazrat Ja'far radiallahu an. Anyway, what did Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, what did he look like? So he wasn't tall, nor was he short, he was average height. And he had wide black eyes, and he was extremely handsome, and his face would be glowing like the full moon. And he had broad shoulders and large hands. In fact, did you know the bones on his shoulders were like the bones of a lion? And imagine how strong a lion is that we'd get scared if we see a lion that is the king of the jungle. The, show, the, the bones of the lion, that's how, how strong they are. That's how strong Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu was. If he held the arm of someone, just held the hand of someone, they wouldn't be able to breathe after that. And when he would walk in battle, he'd think he's walking, but he's actually running. That's how strong he was. Now, as he's growing up, Abu Talib, which was his father, he was very respected, obviously, but he was very poor and he had a very large family to look after. And he couldn't look after everyone when he had to look after everyone because he was the leader. So the Prophet wasallam, when he had grown up, he wanted to look after and help. He wanted to help his uncle, Abu Talib. So he said to his uncle, oh, Abu Talib, can I not look after Hazrat Ali? Radiyallahu I'll look after him. I'll feed him. I'll give him clothes. I'll look after him. And Abu Talib agreed. And since that day, it was the Prophet wasallam, the Prophet of the world, the leader of the world, bringing up Hazrat Ali radiallahu anh. So Hazrat Ali radiallahu anh grew up at such a young age. When he was very young, he grew up with the Prophet wasallam. The Prophet wasallam used to look after him. He was like a father to him. Now how Hazrat Ali radiallahu anh accepted Islam? After revelation had come, after the Prophet وسلم, was in the cave, and what was the cave called? The cave of Hira. The Prophet وسلم, was inside one day, and then the angel came and squeezed him three times and told him, Iqra, read. And like that, the Prophet وسلم, became a prophet, and he came to his wife, Hazrat Khadija, anha, and he told her everything about what had happened. That day or that night, Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu, went to the house. He came to the house of the Prophet. And he knew something was wrong because they were acting different. They never used to act like this before. So he asked them, what's happened? Why are you acting different today? So the Prophet ﷺ said to him that why don't you believe in Allah alone? Don't worship all these idols. Worship one Allah only. How do you think Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu reacted? Because he's never heard anything like this. He doesn't know what's happening. He's very young as well. But he was very intelligent. So what did he say? He said, I cannot make a decision until I speak to my parents, until I ask my father, Abu Talib. I can't just accept Islam without asking my father. But the Prophet wasallam, he didn't want him to tell anyone. He wanted Islam to stay secret for the moment. Because if Islam became open, then everyone would go against it. So the Prophet wasallam, kept it for a secret for a while. So whoever accepts, they accept, and then they can make it public afterwards. So the Prophet ﷺ did not want his secret revealed yet. So he told him to keep quiet about it. As Ali radiallahu anh kept quiet about it, he stayed in their house. In fact, he spent the night in their house. And by the morning, Allah Ta'ala had opened his heart for Islam and he accepted Islam. Who was the first boy to accept Islam? It was Hazrat Ali radiallahu anh. Like we say, the first woman to accept Islam was Hazrat Khadija radiallahu anha. The first man to accept Islam was Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu anh, and the first boy to accept Islam who was only 10 years old at the time was Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu. 